Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we call JSP page from the servlet. So here I have created the project, and in the SRC main Java I will create here a one servlet. So right click on this, go to new, and go to here we will create what servlet, and here we will give Java package as com dot test dot com dot servlet dot test and here we will take class name as test servlet and click on next here we can see this is our url then click on next after that click on finish so our servlet is created here we can see this is our servlet let me delete this and this is our URL pattern test servlet this is also we can delete from here to here and this is also not required so these are the two methods do get and do post so what we will do here from the servlet how to call the JSP page so first next step is what we will do we will create one JSP page. So for JSP, go to SRC, then main, then web app. So in the web app, right click on this and go to new. And here, choose the JSP file. And here we will take JSP file name as test.jsp. So JSP file is created. So here is our JSP file and here we will write some text as h2 this is test.jsp file now how can we call this jsp from our servlet so in this we will write here we can use request dispatcher for calling this so here we will create first of all we will set the content type set the content type as res dot set response dot set content type and text class html and here we can use request dispatcher for calling this uh, jsp from the servlet so here we will create one object request dispatcher already if you didn't know what is this request dispatcher i have already created video i will give the link of that video in the description from there you can watch what is the request dispatcher so we will import this how to import Control shift o for importing so here you can see request dispatcher is imported now request dispatcher rd equals to you can get from request request dot get request dispatcher you can see here and here we have to pass the file name of which file which JSP file we have to call that file name we have to give here so which JSP file we have created test.jsp we have to call the test.jsp from the servlet so test.jsp copy this and go to test servlet and here we have to pass the JSP file name here we can see I have passed the JSP file name and next what we have to do there are two methods in the request dispatcher one is rd.forward and rd.include by using both we can call the server uh, uh, JSP file from the servlet so first we will see by rd.forward so for what for we have to write here rd.forward and we have to pass the request comma response so then what happen whenever give whenever we will give this request to the servlet then what happen this um, request dispatcher forward this request comma response to this test.jsp and test.jsp will be called so we will run this on the server so this is our project test project right click on this and go to run as run on server and i am using here tomcat so click on next and click on finish it will open in the browser So here you can see the 
our project name is coming test project so first of all what we will do our server at url is test servlet so this url we give and let us go here and paste here and click enter and if it is taking some here you can see the content of destination component that is test.jsp here we can see test.jsp this is test.jsp that means what is happening we are calling this jsp file from our servlet <coughs> so here what we are doing we are giving the request to servlet and here we are using request rd dot forward that and this will call this test dot jsp so in the forward what is happening if we write here some message before the rd dot forward what we'll do we'll uh, use here print writer so get print writer print writer pw equals to res dot get risk uh, response response dot get writer and for importing this press control shift o print writer is imported now we will write here pw dot print ln print ln this is what this is a uh, servlet we are printing this so if i go to this browser and refresh server is loaded but we are not getting this this is servlet so when to use forward if you want only the jsp content only the content in the jsp if uh, if i give here only uh, again yes to test dot jsp and go to here and refresh this test dot jsp this is test dot jsp only we are getting what jsp content so if you require only the jsp content that is destination component content then we, you have to use this forward it will not include the starting component from where we are calling this jsp the content of that component will not get if you use forward so if you want this uh, starting component content and also this destination web component content that means we want this servlet component content also and also the jsp component content then what we can do we can use here include so includd include we can use include then what happen we will get also the content of this servlet and also this jsp content that means what will be printed this this is the servlet also printed and this is test.jsp and test.jsp also printed so now let me go to browser and if we refresh here and here we can see this is a servlet also coming this is the what this is a, in the servlet means starting web component content and this is a jsp content that means destination web component content so from the servlet let me zoom it so we'll see from the servlet we have to call what jsp page so there are two ways we can call first one is by using forward of the request dispatcher forward and second one is include so when to use uh, forward if you want the content if you want the content of both if you want the content of only this destination web component then use the forward and if you want the co uh, content of this servlet and also the jsp then we need to use include so if you want to call the jsp from the servlet we can use these two methods forward and include and when to use forward if you want only the content of destination web component destination and when to is include when we want the content of this starting web component also the destination web component 
so this is a way we can call jsp page from the servlet